Now, if you don't know uh, Nikki Haley, uh, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, and I will just go ahead and accuse her uh, of taking an offer like the one they made to Carrie Lake, uh, because and, uh, this might be slander, but I would love for Nikki Haley to sue me because I'd love to go to court, because I bet I could prove it. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I think it's pretty clear that Nikki Haley did take that money, and now the Democratic donors are behind her, right? So it's, isn't it the guy who runs LinkedIn, that billionaire runs LinkedIn, he gave all the money to Joe Biden, now he's giving it all to Nikki Haley. Do I have the right billionaire? Yeah, I think I do. And um, so, and it's obvious, well, these, these clips will show you, she's an obvious, you know, uh, I hate to over, the over term, uh, overuse term grifter, but she's uh, just your classic lying politician, and she's on the take, and she's not working for you. She's working for the military industrial complex in Wall Street. And uh, here we go. DeSantis is hitting you for claiming the retirement age is, quote, way, way too low. I have Stand. never once said that. But what we do know is 65 is way too low. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so she does what? So think she wants to raise the retirement age. That's who she is, right? Okay. I think she wants to raise the retirement age to death. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're dead, there's not a lot of overhead. Yeah. <laughs> and we need to increase that. We need to do it according to life expectancy. I never once said Hillary Clinton was an inspiration. I often say that the reason I got into politics was because of Hillary Clinton. She's fussing over the exact wording. Yeah. <laughs> I never said it once wearing a red dress. Yeah. <laughs> I never said government should go and require anyone's name. A huge issue that I'll deal with as soon as I get there is social media. They need to verify every single person on their ballot. And I want it by name. DeSantis is hitting So she's the exact puppet of the WEF. She's the exact puppet of the billionaire class, the security state, the authoritarians. She is good. She is there to do the bidding, just like Joe Biden is, right? And so she's their backup plan. If Joe Biden doesn't win, they want her to be the nominee for the Republicans so that they have a, it's a win-win, right? So if there's any, we've covered this, uh, I covered this before, but uh, there is, there is a group of people who have won every election since 1980, and it's called Goldman Sachs, the military industrial complex, big oil, and big pharma. They've won every election, okay? And so that's what this is about, and that's why Nikki Haley is coming out of nowhere, and no one likes her, but she's being propped up by the media, and they got Democrats to vote for her in New Hampshire, right? Okay, here's some more of it. I would not run if President Trump ran. I'm Nikki Haley, and I'm running for president. Okay, there you go. <laughs> With a frontal lobotomy. I will not, not now, not ever, support raising the gas tax. Let's increase the gas tax by 10 cents over the next three years. Every person on social media should be verified by their name. That's, first of all, it's a national security threat. I never said government should go and require anyone's name. So I think China's been a really great friend of ours. Yes, I view China as an enemy. That was so <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I mean, there's nothing to add to this. This is already perfect. <laughs> I intended to say, I do not think we need to pull money from the UN. The UN, the only thing is we would defund the UN as much as possible. I would. So there she goes. She says she doesn't want to take money out of the UN, and then she wants to defund it as much as possible. Tricky, Nikki. Tricky, that's, oh. I can't wait to see what Trump does with her, but um, I don't mean like that. She's the pinball wizard of bipolarism. <laughs> <laughs> Nakba Nikki. So now she, uh, they asked her about the Civil War, where she famously didn't mention uh, slavery as being a cause. And then they asked her about, is America racist? And she says this. We're not a racist country, Brian. We've never been a racist country. Our goal is to make sure that today is better than yesterday. Are we perfect? No. But our goal is to always make sure we try and be more perfect mm -hmm. every day that we can. I know I faced racism when I was growing up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So there really are two Americas, one with no racism and one where she's the victim of racism. <laughs> 
She faced racism. That's how unique she is. She's faced racism in a country that never had racism. <laughs> uh, okay. And remember, this is even before Apu from The Simpsons. That, that, remember that? Okay. She reminds me of that Sally Field movie, Sybil, where she had like all that characters in her. <laughs> the people, the people. We were the only Indian family in our small southern town. I was teased every day for being brown. So... Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I guess that's why so many people are skeptical of her racism charge. She doesn't look brown. M Marcy from the peanut strips looks browner than she does. Charlie Brown is browner than her. <laughs> Did she go to school with the albinos? <laughs> I didn't think, that's, okay. I was a brown girl from the South and nobody ever loaned me their sunscreen or invited me to a cross burning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyone that wants to question it can go back and look at what I've said on how hard it was to grow up in the deep South as a brown girl. Anybody can look at my records and see when Walter Scott was shot down by a dirty cop, how I made sure that the Walter Scott family didn't suffer because we put the first body camera bill in the country in place. Anybody can look at the fact that when we had nine amazing souls dying Mother Emanuel Church, I did something that no Republican or Democrat ever wanted to touch, which was call for the Confederate flag to come down because it would take two thirds of the House and Senate and was an impossible feat. I don't know what you're implying with that, but what I will tell you is, saying that I had black friends is a source of pride. Saying that I had white friends is a source of pride. If you wanna know what it was like growing up, I was disqualified from a beauty pageant because I wasn't white or black, because oh. they didn't know where to put me. Maybe it's because so she's ugly. I know. Yeah. What? I said maybe because she's ugly. Yeah. Oh. And her special it's talent, a joke. Special talent was victimization, so yeah. But I wonder what the her hardships, talent was. The pain that come with racism. It's the reason that I fight bullies every day when it comes to racism, anti-Semitism, or hate. And I always will. If I didn't mention slavery on that day. Okay, so she's saying she was bullied because she was brown. Because she was bullied. She was like, had racist bully things happen to her. What? What kind of shit do you think they said to her when she was in school? Wow, we didn't know Indians could be that white? Is that the kind of shit? <laughs> or, or wait, seriously, you're white, right? Is that the kind of things they said to her? Maybe they called her the other Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> uh, okay, I have some more jokes, hold on. Do you think maybe she got teased for being brown because one day she shit her pants and then she just kind of made that into a thing about being teased about being brown. <laughs> She's doing it now. <laughs> you know, I was wondering what her talent was for the beauty pageant. Yeah. Was it hypocrisy? Yeah. <laughs> In a swimsuit. So she get her face yeah. laser blasted? That Michael Jackson uh, skin treatment she's been getting, I think. I can't believe she didn't become a rapper with a background that brown. I can't believe it. Maybe she was freestyling just then and I missed it. I don't know. Tulsi Gabbard's gonna have to come over and slap her. Is Nikki Haley her Indian name, or? No, it's not. Liar, lie. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess, it, and I, so here's what uh, Candace Owens said. She goes, this is very confusing to me. Nikki Haley was born in 1972. I'd assume it was at least the 80s before she tried to enroll in a beauty pageant. Were there segregated beauty pageants then? If not, why would they not know where to put her? If so, how was the mixed race Vanessa Williams crowned Miss America in 1984? Maybe she entered a regional MILF pageant or something. <laughs> and look, anyway, she was just gonna use, if she did win the beauty pageant, she was just gonna use that to get herself into politics anyway, so it all fucking worked out for you, right? <laughs> Anybody? Politics, where she would win the pageant. 
She, Nikki Haley is like the Rachel Dolezal of politics. <laughs> And you know what? I agree with her. The only way to end racism is to increase corporate power. <laughs> so there's your Nikki Haley. That's the big savior. The de I've seen Democrats tweeting out, oh, we got to vote for Nikki Haley. Let's uh, it's, I swear to God, I've seen that. It's nuts. Um, and this is, who, this is who the media props up. Of course, if the media is propping somebody up, they're the worst persons in the world to have lead us, okay? All right, anything else you'd like to add before we move on? Any? Haley's Comet, relevant every 74 years. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Omaha, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Philadelphia, Avenal, New Jersey, Boston, Palm Springs, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you at a live show. Mm -hmm.